Female soldiers in combat jobs. Some people love it, some people hate it. I wanna break down some misconceptions and actually dig into what females in combat jobs are all about. Quick history lesson, females in combat jobs have been around for a while. In fact, back in World War II, the Red Army, their best snipers were literally females because they said they were patient, they were delicate, but they were extremely lethal. Now let's look at the US military. Female Apache pilots, they've been around for a while. Delta Force themselves have even said they use female operators in certain scenarios, but it's top secret stuff. Now look, the Pentagon and the military, they are a direct reflection of the United States and the culture. The culture is becoming more inclusive. They are becoming more open. The females doing things men can do. Nothing wrong with that, but let's actually break down what's going on in the army and how things sort of crumbled. So I was in the army when the first females passed ranger school in 2015. Nothing wrong with that. It was actually pretty hype, but it was almost over hype. The media and news cover was absolutely insane, and I think this put a really salty taste in a lot of people's mouths. Either jealousy or why are all these females getting a bunch of hype and attention when all the tens and thousands of soldiers who've passed before, they never got any news coverage. The other issue is we have females who passed ranger school and are a total outlier of a soldier. They are a badass. A lot of guys can't pass ranger school. So what ends up happening is, well, these females can pass, so why can't any other females do what they're supposed to do in infantry and combat engineer? It is not a real accurate correlation or representation of what females can and can't do. Even for men, again, a lot of guys can't pass ranger school. So now we have these physical standards that just are not equal. I'm not here to hate on females or hate on guys. Guys just have harder physical standards when you look at the stats and the numbers. These are the facts. But I hate the notion that every single guy soldier is so much more stronger than females because biologically we're stronger. I can literally name five people right now who got kicked out of the army for being too weak. So we need to stop that notion immediately. Then you had the issue of male soldiers were just straight up told, hey, females are coming, go deal with it, and then you guys are just going to figure it out yourselves. And having been in the first unit who received the first female combat engineers in the 101st Airborne, look, you can say all day, oh, you guys, are, you're just equal. You're females, you're males, it's all good to go. But on their end, when you're walking into a situation where everybody is pitted against you, you have to feel for them a little bit because what are they supposed to do? They were just thrown into a situation and told, go at it. Now, Naval Special Warfare, they had their first female pass in 2021, and I think we can all learn a lesson from the Navy. Nobody knows who it is, and they just said, hey, we're going to hide the name because we're going to treat her with respect, and she's a Naval Special Warfare fighter. We're not going to hype her up, and they did an amazing job doing that. Now, I think this is going to always be an ongoing issue just because, again, it is our culture in the United States. Some people are super inclusive, some people are not, and there's also scientific facts to back up what makes sense and what doesn't. But at the end of the day, I just hope we figure it out.